Harper. Oh, Coming off a grueling title defense, Triple H was steadily building his legacy as one of the greatest world heavyweight champions in WWE history. The following night on Raw, the game looked to take the night off. However, Stone Cold Steve Austin had other plans. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time, Ric Flair. What? I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. The best versus the best, just like we talked about. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. You'll lay down. Lay down. With Ric Flair's integrity at stake, Shawn Michaels paid Flair a visit to remind him who he was and give the dirtiest player in the game his confidence back. Do you really think I can go out there and be the guy like Triple H right now. I know you can do it. Where's Flair getting this from? After what I saw you do to the Triple H. Look at these shots by Flair. I am here to tell you that you, Ric Flair, were, are, and will always be the greatest wrestler in the world. And I just want to know if I'm in the same league with Ric Flair. You, Michael, will always be a Ric Flair. What he just, he just took a punch on Michael. I am not the little boy watching my idol. I am a heartbreak kid, the showstopper. You didn't pass the torch to me. I took it from you. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels had bad blood. The dream match, perhaps of all time. The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rip Flair. People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss up. It's either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s as no one has ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who've wanted to be like Ric Flair. and some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year candidates in one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I love it. The Texas crowd does too, King. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Flair has his cult following too, as always. You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of a match like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets 
going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! We'll see just how important Ric Flair's signature move, the figure four leg lock, becomes before the end of this match. When the Nature Boy uses effectively, it's been said that it puts severe pressure on seven different points of your legs. Well, let me tell you something, Cole. I felt it, and I hate it. I don't think there's anything worse than the figure four leg lock from Flair. Well, except maybe for one of his chops. Here we go with Shawn Michaels. And Ric Flair reverses it. And we're going to talk about how powerful an alliance can be with Triple H. Let's look at the flip side of that coin. Like in July of 2002, when in one of the most horrific nights in WWE history, he betrayed a returning Shawn Michaels and threw his head through a car window. Oh, man, oh, man. I remember the two-man power trip, Cole. And since you brought up when he turned on Shawn Michaels, I'm going to talk about when DX reunited. July of 2006, the game and the heartbreak kid. Man, did that crowd come unglued. And Mr. McMahon hated it. Ooh, that did it. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. What a counter. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. One of the most unpredictable, exciting times in WWE was when the Heartbreak Kid served as commissioner of the company. You want to talk about not knowing what was going to happen next? But Mr. Michaels was always full of surprises. Oh, wow. Oh, ow! Shawn Michaels' back has to be screaming in agony right now. Well, HBK's dealt with this kind of pain before. I know he's in pain, but there's no way he's going to quit. Oh, out of nowhere! A kick out after one. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena. Oh, what's Flair going for here? But wait, a reversal by Shawn Michaels. And ooh, Flair hit that corner hard. He's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Off Flair in the corner now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee. Oh, look, oh, at, look that. at that. Wait, low blow. And I think, I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. What are you going to do now, Nature Boy? Woo! And you can hear the fans willing him onward. Shawn Michaels making a move. Oh, Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game. He's still going, Cole. What guts? What's this? Oh, I'll bet we see Nature Boy reach even deeper into his bag of tricks tonight than he usually does. Desperate people do desperate things, and Ric Flair needs to win this match here tonight. And we all know what kind of tactics Ric Flair can call on when he's desperate. The dirtiest player in the game. Oh, nice counter. Look out. Ric Flair is measured. Oh, look at this. Ric Flair with a figure four, but no! Shoved right into the official. And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. <gasps> and he's tuning up the band for some sweet chin music on Nate. Look out, Nature Boy. And he connects. Who right the man. heck? Randy Orton with a steel chair to the back of Shawn Michaels. And look at this. He's putting Nature Boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding? Helping the referee. His, his buddy Flair. And there's the three count. I can't believe this, Cole. No, I can't. That's the way these guys operate. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, is, he's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. can barely stand, but Shawn Michaels is out. Orton paying dividends. 